Hello everybody, this is Simon with Let's Play Mega Man Zero. I haven't really talked about what hard mode actually entails, no? Well, basically there's nothing changed from normal, except your weapons won't level up and you can't use Cyber Elves. So the more the game progresses, the harder it gets in comparison to what you'd usually do. For this mission it's not really different. The biggest problem, of course, are still the spike balls and there is no way around it you'll have to learn when one is coming and adjust your playstyle accordingly. You can just dash through here and accept, uh, ac expect to make it on your first try around. This guy, by the way, is a complete bitch because he's pretty unpredictable. He gets me all the time, but I'm still good. I just am not allowed to get hit anymore at all. So yeah, um, if you want to uh, really rank high on those levels, you have to memorize them. There is no way around it and I'm um, not a big fan of memorization gameplay, but in that case it doesn't force me to, so hmm, I'm, I'm fine with it if it's my own choice, basically. And uh, you can completely ignore the wind gimmick, because as said, uh, the cyber elves do nothing for you, so you don't have to play around with it to get the one on top, and just destroy the things and it won't get in your way. Compared to the intro mission, this mission here is far more leeway when it comes to enemies killed and time you're allowed to take. So it's far far easier to 100 point than that one, even though it's uh, basically a far harder mission as I've already detailed in the normal video. So you're not allowed to get hit by the boss at all in uh, a 100 point run because those will usually deal enough damage to put you over the threshold. Aztec Falcon has the big advantage of being a pretty short boss, even though he loves to camp out in the corner. Uh, what you really have to do is just keep your cool, uh, know when you can attack him and when not. Um, when in doubt, just climb the wall and hide out. Like here, I mean, I could possibly land behind him and hit him a few more times, but what's the point? I know that I have enough time and I can just finish him off like this safely and without great hassle. Don't get um, distracted by the time limit. You've got plenty of time to take him down. Uh, you should know how to fight him. You should know how to react to every movement he makes. And uh, which this is pretty much the case for every boss later on. If you want to do good in this game, you have to know what they're doing. Um, the big joy about the boss fights is that you still have to adjust. You don't have to memorize their every move because you can't. They're random. You have to know how to react to each situation and sometimes it can get pretty dicey anyway. So yeah, this was a really good example of a level being improved greatly by you being better at it. Thanks for your attention.